Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, looks like it's 74 degrees here. Uh, 74 degrees here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is now Saturday night. This is what I'm doing with my first exciting Saturday night of 2022, and that would be Saturday, January 1st, 2022. It is New Year. Good Lord, guys. <coughs> how the hell did we make it? How, how did we make it here? I, I am completely amazed. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have been partying like it was... I don't know, 2019, down here in the oasis of freedom at all of these super spreader events. Let's, so let's hope I don't die of, uh, you know what, the Omicron here. Uh, but anyway, guys, since it is Saturday, I, I really wanted, you know, I, I really did. I, I, I was going to try to to put aside my you, you know my Eeyore view of uh, the world and bring you my hopium roundup today. We were going to go on to mangabay.com and share the apocalyptic uh, that I love dearly, Rhett Butler from mangabay.com. You know I did my final mangabay.com roundup. <coughs> yesterday and so every year Rhett Butler searches through the archives of uh, well I guess one of his writers Michael somebody going through the archives of the hundreds and if not thousands of doom and gloom stories that Manga Bay has brought to us in 2021 about how completely doomed this planet is you know, to find some little scraps of, uh, of good news. And uh, so I, I, I was going to do this straight. All right, but guys, we're, 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 I, I, I'm pretty much just going to pick one of them. I think there's 10, the, something like the top 10 positive, positive news stories from... Uh, the year 2021 and I'm just gonna read you you know the little takeaway at the top and then I am verbatim going to read Manga Bay's review of COP 26 COP 26 being one of the most positive stories in uh, of 2021 Okay, so the takeaway, uh-oh, make sure this is, um, am I going to be able to do this? Uh, or is my computer going to cut me off? Okay, it looks like everything is still here. All right, so here's the takeaway of the list. They picked out four, starting with COP21. 21 saw what many would consider. Many would consider. Uh, I'm not sure Rhett Butler's definition of many. Okay. Uh, many. There you go. 2021 saw what many would consider the most important conference of the parties, the most important COP on climate change known as COP26 while still not yet enough to bring us to net zero emissions by 2030 there were significant commitments made that undoubtedly undoubtedly bring us closer if they are adhered to. There you go. Okay, we're just going to touch on three more. And uh, then we're going to 
going to, tr I'm going to sit here and try to do this with a straight face, but three more. How about an amazing amount, an amazing amount, I think, Rhett, that was supposed to be an amazing number of species recovered, including some iconic ones <clears throat> making Make it. Damn it. Making hopeful population rebounds after years of conservation efforts and policies. All right, number three new technologies. All right. New technologies show promise of slashing slashing one-third of global greenhouse gas emissions in just a couple of decades in the agricultural sector, playing a pivotal role in combating climate change. I was just reading uh, on the mainstream media, you know, this story I've mentioned before, probably one of the technologies they're talking about is feeding cows, feeding cows seaweed, all right, feeding cows seaweed to make them stop belching and farting so much. And do not forget, indigenous groups and organizations achieved some major victories and achievements. Yes inspiring some of the boldest commitments to protect tropical forest cover. Yes. Okay. All right. At the end of 21, there are still some very, some very significant reasons to remain to remain, to remain <laughs> hopeful. This was a harsh year. Well, last year was a harsh year. This will be a harsh year any way you slice it. But it comes to a close with significantly brighter prospects than the one before it. Yes. Alright. Manga Bay takes a look back at some of the most positive stories from 2021, starting with new protected areas established. You know, Manga Bay, Rhett Butler comes on week after week, month after month, year after year, uh, battering us with uh, stories about how protected areas has become the oxymoron of the year 2021 and now 2022 protected areas. Rhett Butler is the number one news source I turn to to understand there is no such thing as a protected area. Leading the list new protected areas established. Number two, conservation brings in cash. All right, don't forget the Protect Our Planet Challenge, also referred to as 30 by 30, as it seeks to protect and conserve 30% of the planet by 2030. So we get 70%. The rest of our uh, earthlings combined get 30%. There you go. Uh, that is a positive story. Uh, don't forget all these indigenous victories. Yes, indigenous victories continue. Yep, 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 yep. All right. 
this, you know, guys. Uh, anyway, what do we have here? Don't forget restoration and rewilding. The United Nations officially declared the 2020s the Decade on Ecosystem Restoration. Yes, calling on nations across the globe to restore 1 billion hectares, otherwise known as 2.5 million no, two and a half billion acres of degraded land. This is equivalent to an area larger than China. Yes. Quote, quoting the United Nations, the UN decade, uh, oh yes, is, is also the deadline for the sustainable development goals and the timeline scientists have identified as the last chance to prevent catastrophic climate change. You know, the, the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Ah, don't get me going. The UN Sustainable Development Goals. Yes, one of the positive stories. Of course, species make a comeback. Oh boy. And of course, do not forget uh, new and emerging technology. But of course, guys, the positive story that everybody's talking about is COP26. So let's try to make a New Year's resolution that this will uh, be the final time I ever mention COP26 because, of course, we have a COP27 coming along here shortly. All right. This is Manga Bay's coverage of the positive story of COP26. Take it away, Manga Bay. This is the airboat you're hearing in the background. Uh, there is still a long way to go on the transition away from fossil fuels, but this year saw uniquely encouraging steps forward. Even though COP26 may not have closed the gap on a viable net zero pathway, the Glasgow Climate Pact has some key differences from the Paris Agreement that experts say give us a fighting chance at staying below 2 degrees C if the actions and commitments made in the Glasgow Climate Pact are fully adhered to. Notably, every government, every government is expected to come back with stronger commitments at every annual COP. This is COP 26 President Alok Sharma. Sounds like the airboats are coming for us. All right, quote, we can now say with credibility that we have kept one and a half degrees alive, but its pulse is weak. Yes. We have kept one and a half degrees alive, but its pulse is weak and it will only survive if we keep our promises and translate commitments into rapid action. Alright, you can hear some of the, uh, you can hear some of the commitment to, uh, some of the commitment to getting the planet off fossil fuels. This is the uh, the Florida airboat. Is what we have here, the Oasis of Freedom airboat. Yes, as people uh, celebrate their the New Year by climbing all these things and uh, 
probably, I don't know, running over some sandhill crane nests. I think I hear some baby sandhill cranes being chopped up in a in an airboat blade. Alright. You wouldn't believe some of the people who were out on the airboats uh, the past couple of days. Alright. Guys, you know, really, you have to look no further than the airboat for, uh, to understand, uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the airboat, uh, This is probably the most honest reporting you're going to hear about the state of the planet on New Year's Day. Listen to the airboat. If you really want to understand the collapse of everything, if you want to understand the, you know, certainly the collapse of Florida wetland ecosystems, but basically, if you don't understand the definition of the clueless moron, uh, you might want to check out the Florida airboat. Anyway, hi. Where were we? Talking about COP 21 and the associated stories. 2021 saw a uniquely aggressive crackdown on both new and existing coal plants across the globe. Yeah, some of the most positive stories come from Indonesia. Yes, all right. Uh, someone out in the doomosphere, I was just listening to all of these doomsday predictions. One of these guys, I can't remember who it was on one of these Doomer channels. This dude making his Doomer predictions for 2022 actually predicting that more coal will be burned in 2022 than in 2021. And when I heard this guy, I actually had to agree with him. Uh, yes, uh, you just gotta love it. Life in the Point Lonesome Swamp. This is the peace and tranquility of living in the Point Lonesome Swamp. I don't know why I am selling this place. I can't imagine why would Sam be selling his little, uh, his little bivouac in paradise. Cannot imagine why. All right. Yes, here we go. Don't forget, don't forget this one. There was a lot of coverage on this one. This recent report shows that plans for 75% of new coal plants were halted or ditched altogether since uh, the, the Paris Agreement was signed. And of course, President Xi Jinping announced in September that China would not finance any more coal-fired power plants abroad, but this pledge does leave open a loophole allowing the country to invest in other coal projects, including coal gasification plants. So, uh, you know, so China is saying, now this is not even counting their own country, so as long as what you do is you take the coal and you burn, somehow you turn the coal into natural gas, all right, then it's not coal, it's, 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 it's gas. So don't burn the coal, turn the coal into gas, burn the gas, and it is not a coal-fired power plant. It is a gas-fired power plant. This is a positive story. 2021. Okay, but this is some actually, I don't believe it actually a, uh, a piece of good news 
another fossil fuel giant took a tumble. The Keystone XL pipeline was finally axed. There you go. All right. But of course, if you were one of the five or six people on the planet if who read anything from COP26, yes, you very likely heard of the high-profile Glasgow Leaders Declaration on Forest and Land Use. This declaration endorsed by 133 world leaders states, and I'm pretty sure this includes Brazil. I'm pretty sure that Jair Bozo Nero, don't quote me on that, I'm guessing that Jair Bozo Nero signed this statement, quote, we commit to working collectively to halt and reverse, to halt and reverse forest loss and land degrada degradation by 2030 while delivering sustainable development and promoting an inclusive rural transformation, close quote. So they're going to halt and reverse forest loss while delivering sustainable development. There you go. The countries that signed on account for around 90% of global forest cover. And they do have a little amplification and clarification. While Indonesia, who was a key signatory of this declaration, has since walked back its commitment by taking umbrage with the definition of, quote, reverse and halt forest loss. Yes, experts say the f pledge has some, some, has some, hope to make good on its promise because of its attention to revamping or addressing trade policies finance and land tenure rights. And do not forget, and lastly, and lastly, citizens around the world made their voices heard loud and clear during the quote, Global Day of Climate Action, which saw more than 100 demonstrations in the UK alone and attracted 100,000 protesters to the streets of Glasgow. More than 100 other nations also saw similar protests. Young activists from around the globe, including Greta Thunberg, including Greta Thunberg, demanded stronger action from the world leaders in attendance at COP26. Quoting Greta Thunberg, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that will be uh, how we start off the year 2022. That is your first hopium roundup. E e you know, guys, I, uh, I, I love Rhett Butler and Bonga Bay. Rhett Butler is the uh, you know the proud father Rhett Butler is uh, you know he is one of the warriors uh, bringing us information uh, about uh, the state of this planet. Rhett Butler knows damn well virtually every single word I just read is complete, utter, unadulterated horse pucky. Uh, Anyway, get out there and enjoy smoking your hopium while you still can. Uh, 
as you listen to the sound of the airboats. But uh, I'm going to come back because while I was fishing around for this, I came across a comment that I really do want to share. Before I go to bed on this lonely Saturday night, come back for just a short one. Bye, guys.